Ronald Terrian. Mr. Terrian, you're charged with speeding in a school zone on Child Street. What do you want to tell me about this, sir? Yeah, I'm guilty for that. Um, that day, I was taking care of a young man. I'm, a ment I'm mentoring a young man from our church. Um, I took him to the um, food stamp place in that area, and he suffers from PTSD, and he had a terrible episode while we were there, so I had to rush him out of there. He doesn't do well in crowds. He just kind of falls apart, and then yeah. if anybody approaches him or touches him, he just kind of goes ballistic. Yeah, tell me a little bit about what you do. Well, I'm retired. Um, but I do work for our church in Northern Providence. You retired from what? From being a maintenance supervisor. Mm -hmm. so I have my own little business too. Mm -hmm. I now maintain water coolers around New England. Yeah. And now you're volunteering at the church? Yep. Yes, I do, sir. Mm -hmm. So you're giving back. Right. You're trying to give back anyway. Trying to, right. Sometimes no good deed goes unpunished, you know. Right. Well, you were one tenth over, uh, one mile rather, over what we have been dismissing cases at. Right. But I think based on the circumstances of this case, you know what, number one, you're volunteering for the church. Number two, you're helping somebody. Number three, he was uh, experiencing an episode, you know, right. of health issues and anxiety and stuff. Trying to calm him down and trying to figure out how to get him home where he lives, you know, it was very difficult at the time. Yeah. How's the young man now? Was he okay? Not doing really good. Yeah. Well, you have to be commended for the work that you do. Thank you. You're doing God's work, actually. Right. I think I can give you a break on one mile an hour over. <laughs> the matter's going to be dismissed. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. If you are looking to make a difference in your life and the lives of others, I would encourage you to follow Mr. Perry's example and become a mentor. It's not only a great opportunity to become a positive force in a young person's life, it will also give deeper purpose to yours. Mentors feel a great sense of productivity. They are reminded that the skills they have honed over a lifetime have value. And probably most importantly, they feel connected to others in a more profound way than they did before. If you are interested in becoming a mentor, I would strongly suggest you volunteer at a local school or your place of worship. You can also go to mentoring.org to find an opportunity in your area. I promise, it's one decision you never regret. <laughs> Come on, how cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court and Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court and Providence is also a TV show. Oh wow, your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtandprovidence.com, click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it, move it, move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.